hello 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 my beautiful family how are you all doing i hope everyone is well by the grace of god welcome back to ernestina's kitchen if you are a subscriber please welcome if you are new please you are so welcome i want to thank all my subscribers for the amazing job that you all are doing by me i am so grateful and appreciative god bless you all abundantly so this evening we are going to make jollof rice so guys fasten your seatbelt here are our beautiful ingredients all right so we are going to uh use hot boiled rice okay i am using this beautiful uh sunflower oil so we are going to use this beautiful tomatoes so we are going to use our uh, three type of onions here okay we have charlotte we have yellow onions and we also have purple onions we also going to use green stop burning peppers as well as ginger we are also going to use chicken gizzards we have here stop burning peppers and also cloves of garlic we have green beans we have some eggs we have some tomato paste we have two types of spices here we have sour anise we also have nutmeg we are going to use two types of meat here oxtail and goat meat we have cow feet we have two types of fish here okay we have mackerel and i believe this is called white fish okay guys drop your comment i'm not sure if i'm saying the name right but yes either white fish or white name fish okay so we have blended shrimps that's been baked okay we have rosemary we have a uh, herring that's been blended and also baked this is anise seed. this one here is bay leaves so guys let's get cooking so this is what i'm going to use to steam my meal so i've added a little bit of water so that it's easier to blend okay so i have my gold meat here and my oxtail i'm gonna put in here just like so this is also my uh, chicken gizzard inside here just like that also adding in my cow feet just like so i am adding some bay leaves okay and also some star onions okay this is seasoning we blended to steam our meat i am also adding some salt to taste just mix it very well and we are going to steam it for about 25 minutes yes so i am going to blend these uh, veggies here so now we are cutting our onions for the stew okay you can see our meat is finished steaming okay so now we are about to boil our eggs that is going to go in our stew later on all right so we are ready to fry our meat what i'm doing is that i am taking out the cow feet guys we are ready to fry our meat i have a clean pot here i'm gonna add my oil just like so then it to heat up really well 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 yes that's right it takes usually about maybe five to seven minutes to heat up so i am taking the meat that i want to um fry to try and get the excessive water that's on it so that when you fry your meat it does not splash too much in the oil all right sorry guys something happened to my camera when i was putting the meat in from the beginning in the hot oil and some for some reason didn't record so i'm showing you from here make sure your oil is nice and hot and you put your meat in here just like so okay. 
all right our second batch of meat is done frying look at how amazing this is so nice and brown this is exactly how you want it once i put the meat in the uh, hot oil i fried it for about 10 minutes because i want it nice and you know really nice and hard Okay, we are going to season our fish before we fight. All right, so this is fish fry seasoning. Guys, this is so amazing. Every time I'm frying fish or baking fish, I put a little bit on it. It makes it taste so good. So and what I do is um, I just kind of like sprinkle as much as I want, okay, just like so. If you want to um, measure it, I would say maybe one tablespoon. I'm also going to add my salt. Also just a little bit. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to mix it in very well. Just like so. All right. Done okay i have all purpose flour here okay as you can see all purpose flour i'm ready to fry my fish this one here is white fish i believe it's called <laughs> just like that and then i have some mackerel fish here just like so i'm using the same oil i'm putting uh, the flour on my fish because it keep it intact from um, tearing apart and also gives a nice flavor to the stew yes all right guys I'm just turning over the fish because of the flour it's um, it's coming nicely just like that look at that beautiful right yes so the fish is done you look at how amazing it is it's a little bit white because of the flour but it has cooked all the way through we are taking it out and now we are going to fry the second bag guys i wanted to show you how nice this fish is look at how nice it has cooked all the way through beautiful right and it tastes so good too beautiful beautiful fish beautiful fish Woo! okay guys my eggs are here i'm ready to fry it okay this is optional by the way you can leave your eggs just like that if you want but i like to fry my eggs when i'm making stew it just makes the stew more nicer okay frying eggs like this it's very tricky you just have to keep on moving it around you can't let it sit on one spot okay just like that and so nice and golden all right my eggs are nice and golden i'm gonna make it go for maybe one more minute or less okay ready to take out just like so beautiful right Nicely done. So let's mix stew for our dry rice. So I have oil here. I'm gonna pour a good amount inside here, just like so. Okay, so our oil is hot now. I'm gonna add this is a yellow onion, Charlotte, and also some purple onion inside here, just like so. Okay. So we fried our onions, it's been about seven minutes. Now this here is the ginger, anise seeds, onions, and what else, garlic, okay? In here just like so. This is gonna take about maybe 15 minutes or so. All right. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Now I am adding, this is just pepper, okay? Blended pepper. In here just like so okay okay so we have the pepper in here added 
I'm gonna wait for another 15 minutes again. Okay. Now, what some people do is that you know the ginger, pepper, everything with the tomatoes, they blend it one time so it's easier, you know. So if you find this is too much for you, you have to put everything one by one. You can always blend all your stuff together. Honestly, it will do the job. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, it's been another 15 minutes now. I am putting in my tomato paste. Okay. Just like so. I am putting a lot because I want my um I want my jollof rice to be nice and rich. Okay. Just like that. When you put your um tomato paste, make sure you give it a good stir because so that it will mix nicely all right so we're going to wait for about 15 minutes again yes. all right so look at how amazing they still look already so now we are about to add in our tomatoes i have it here just like so okay We also have, this is the broth from the meat that we steamed earlier on. I'm going to just add some to it as well, just like that, not all of it. So now that we have added our blended tomatoes, we have our burner on a very low heat. This is going to take about one hour for it to cook very well. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. We are almost there. So what I'm going to do now is add some of my goodies inside here to make it nice and sweet. So I am going to put in my cow feet, just like so. Okay. All right, this is the oxtail and the goat meat and also the gizzard, chicken gizzard. It's also going to go in here just like so. Beautiful guys we have some nutmeg here so what i'm gonna do is grate them okay so if you cannot use the fresh the whole one like this they also have one already been grated <laughs> so you can buy that one if it's harder for you so they're not put any maggi we are going to put these goodies with this um this is uh shrimp that's been blended okay we also have a uh, blended herring also like so very very well still it's almost done <sighs> to use uh, two star knees and three uh, bay leaves for beautiful more aroma to our stew okay so as you can see the stew is coming nicely we need about 10 15 minutes then we are going to add our rice all right guys our stew is looking so amazing for now is for my fish beautiful fish as you can see it's right here putting in our eggs just like so i need so all i'm doing is that i'm gonna make the um the fish and the eggs just sit for maybe a minute or two because if i leave the fish too long what's gonna happen is it's just gonna start melting all right so now i am taking out my fish and the eggs all right so as you guys know i am using pot boil rice i'm just washing my rice very nicely so i am adding in my rice all right so i am stirring as you can see i have a lot of stew when I'm making jollof rice, I don't add no water except the water that was from 
the uh, rice when I washed it. But apart from that, I don't use any water. That's how I was taught back home whenever. So it's going to be like this. Beautiful. Okay. All right. All right. See, guys, as you can see, the rice is inside here. Plenty stew. All right. So we're going to close it and wait for the rice to cook. All right, guys, you can see our rice is coming along very nicely. As you can see, we don't need no water. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to use foil. Okay. If you have a baking sheet to cover it, that's even better. All right. All right. So, I am putting foil to help it cook faster. All right, let's check our jello rice. Beautiful. Wow, guys, look at it. Beautiful, eh? This is jello rice without water. Beautiful. So nice, eh? Wow. I have my green beans here, okay? What I'm going to do is now I'm going to put my butter in here just like so. We're going to melt it. This is going to go on top of our rice, okay? So now I have our yellow onions and also purple onions. I'm going to put it in here just like so. We are going to saute it a little bit. So now I am ready to add in my uh, green beans, just like so. We have salt to taste here. Just gonna put a little bit, okay? Not too much. Okay, I'm also going to put a little bit. This is a hot pepper that's been blended. Okay, hot dry pepper, just like that. By the way, guys, this is optional. You don't have to do it like this. But you want a little bit cake to your jollof rice, by all means, try it. Our sauteed beans and onions are done. Look at how amazing this is. Wow. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Guys, the rice turned out so nice. Jollof rice is so amazing. And it tastes so good. Try your jollof rice without no water, okay? So now we are ready to dish it out. We have our assorted meat here. We have our nice sauteed vegetables. All right, guys, look at how amazing this is. And the rice, it's not hard. It's just amazing. Every meat is inside here, beautiful. The gizzard, the goat's meat, the cow's meat, amazing, amazing, amazing food. Oh my goodness, amazing, amazing, amazing jollof rice is to die for. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, and try and make your jollof rice just like that and you are not going to to regret it. Wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. There you have it. Wow, this beautiful jello rice for everyone. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do not forget to subscribe like and share and become part of and Nathina's Kitchen's family because we do love family thank you so much guys have a blessed blessed Sunday God bless you all